Hi guys, why the consoles of a new generation will need FSR 3 and why to my mind AMD would need to implement this technology for the consoles of a new generation Xbox Series and PlayStation 5 and when exactly they are going to release FSR 3. When I started to make this video, I found out that even now many games on the consoles as for Xbox as for PlayStation are already using FSR 1 or 2 depending on the game. The developers just don't show this option at the graphic settings in order not to make consoles interface to difficult, and often FSR is working by default. Among games that have and use FSR on the consoles are Hitman 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Metro Exodus, Watch Dogs Legions and others. And I think that mostly thanks to FSR, many games on the Xbox Series and PlayStation 5 started to support 60fps and sometimes even 120fps. So why do I think that AMD will need to implement their new upscale resolution technology to the consoles? If we look at the new absolutely incredible game regarding graphics aspects Black Tail Requiem, this game is working only with 30 FPS as for Xbox Series as for PlayStation 5. So what I'm trying to say is that even consoles of the new generation cannot handle such a demandable game without FSR at least at 60 FPS. As this game is not using FSR due to their engine they didn't allow them to implement FSR in this game. Upcoming games on Unreal Engine 5 such as Stalker 2 will definitely need FSR for the consoles. And probably for Stalker 2, FSR 3 will be implemented as for Xbox Series as for PC. But of course, if FSR 3 at the release time will be ready. FSR 3 is required for the consoles of the new generation as originally Xbox Series and PlayStation 5 were represented as the consoles that can handle 60 FPS and more. As the games are becoming more and more demandable nowadays, it may happen that without a software optimization tools like FSR or others, consoles won't handle any more demandable games on Unreal Engine 5 like it was with Plug Tail Requiem as I mentioned earlier. So this fact will seriously hit competitiveness of the consoles. And also this theory is looking much more believable if we keep in mind that AMD is making graphical GPUs as for Xbox as for PlayStation and AMD officially announced that FSR 3 is taking much time as they are trying to release it for major part of GPUs including competitor GPUs meaning that FSR 3 has to be available for GeForce 10 series video cards. So the implementation of this technology for the consoles that are using chipset from AMD doesn't have to be too hard for them. And honestly, I really expect to see FSR 3 on the consoles and on simple GPUs as this technology is looking really promising. Especially since DLSS 3 is showing an insane FPS boost that can reach even 120 FPS. And obviously AMD will need to compete with these results. One thing that we can say for sure is that FSR 3 will be released in 2023. But even a recent presentation AMD haven't told us the exact date of their release yet. Because they are still requiring time to optimize new FSR 3 for a major part of GPUs. Insiders tell us that AMD is preparing a release of this technology this summer. And also it will use motion blur technology. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Like and subscribe if so. Thank you again and goodbye.